Hello YouTube. Today I would like to show you a project that I'm working on, a uh, Perkins style braille keyboard. So before I go into that, let me first explain what braille is. So braille is a system of uh, encoding letters in using six dots. So for instance, so there are six potential dots and depending on which dots are filled in determines what letter it encodes. So just having this top one filled in, it's letter A. This one here, these two are filled in, this is the letter B. Um, and this is used mainly for writing things for the blind. The reason is, if for these filled in ones, imagine if there's a bump here, and these not filled in ones, they're flat. They're, then a blind person, and blind people have better uh, tactile feeling, they're able to run their hand over it and feel, oh, the top two are filled in here, so therefore it must be B. In order to write braille, he, um, a man invented something called a Perkins braille machine. So how this works is this is kind of the interface of it. There are six main levers. And so let me number them. And every letter you, every lever you push corresponds to one dot. So let me finish writing this. So here, I push that the first le uh, the lever one the um, first dot will be filled. Push letter two, lever two, the second dot will be filled, and so on. So if I push one, two at the same time, it'll put on the page. This was not for did, for computers. This was designed for writing things on a piece of paper. It'll put on the page that, which as I said before, is B. Now, um, nowadays we're using computers more than paper, and they already have perkins style Braille keyboards. However, they're very expensive. The cheapest one I was able to find, which is very limited, is $300. Many blind people are poor, and so they can't afford paying that much money. So my goal is to create a cheap one, which is also very effective for blind people to use. This here is a prototype. It's not the final version. It's just here so I can write the software for it. Now, let me show you how it works. So these three correspond to these three on a Perkins-style rail keyboard. So if I press this one, it'll encode just it'll encode this which as i said before it's the letter a so watch on notepad keep pressing it if i press the first two here that'll be the letter b and so on as you can probably tell there the Perkins style has six main levers, which correspond to each dot. However, there's four extra buttons here. These are for special functions. So this one is the enter key. This one here is the space key. This here is delete. So as you can see, I have all the buttons wired up and working. What I have to do now is first, there are a couple of bugs I need to fix. Second, I'm thinking about adding a joystick here for the up, down, left, and right arrows. And that's because I turned on accessibility features in Windows 8 and noticed it's much easier to navigate through menus, especially a start screen, using arrow keys. And right now, this is just a prototype and I have this on a breadboard. It's powered by an Arduino Micro. And so what I'm going to do is, in my final version, I'm not going to use an Arduino because Arduinos are expensive. And so I'm going to try to make a keyboard that still has all these buttons and still is high quality, but it's very cheap. And so more blind people can afford it. If you'd like to know more about Braille and Braille keyboards, there's a couple links in the description. And if you want to learn more about my project, just uh, leave a comment and I'll answer it as soon as possible. Please subscribe, like it. Thank you.